Bruh, look where I am. The top of Europe. I'm in a place called Grindelwald. These are the three highest mountains in the Swiss Alps, Switzerland. One of them's called Monch, one of them's called Eiger, and the highest one is called Jungfrau. To be honest, I don't know which one's which. I think, I think that's the highest one. So I think that's Jungfrau. I think that's Monch. And I think that's Eiger. Look at these people paragliding. There's so many of them, look. Udomor. Anyway, so what we're gonna do in this beautiful place is go around all the towns up here in the top of the Swiss Alps, trying out their chocolate stores. We're gonna start here in Grindelwald. There's a chocolate store just down there, just down there in the town. The next place we're going is even better than this, Lord of Brunnen. Apparently he's got waterfalls falling in the town and everything. We'll try a chocolate store there. Then we'll go down to Interlaken, where my hotel is where there's two beautiful, like, ice blue lakes. Try the best chocolate store in there. That place is crazy. There's chocolate stores everywhere. Once we're in Interlaken, there's this famous car. It goes up the side of a mountain. It's called Harder Klum. And it goes up, like, on an angle like this, right up the top of the mountain. There's a mad lookout. And I'm pretty sure there's a place up there that sells chocolate too. So we'll go to them four spots. We'll start here in um, Grindelwald and Les Oge. But look at these mountains, lad. All right, quickly, if you want to support the show, you love It's All Eats, we got merch, we got jumpers, we got shirts I showed you, we got orange, we got black, we got white, we got black and white hoodies. Buy something, support the journey, let's ouch. Bro, look at that. The building's here. Look at that building, bro, wow. Oh, there's a chocolate store here coming up. That's oh. 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 Wow. Swiss chocolate. Wow, bro. Blashstone milk chocolate, tin cans of milk chocolate. Get one of these Swiss chocolate boutique, boutique, boutique. Try this, bro. These are mad. We're gonna get one of these dark and milk with lemon crisp and strawberries. Swiss chocolate. Can I get one of these pink ones here? Mm -hmm. That's a nougat. Nougat, yup. Sir, may I ask you how many? Uh, maybe just like four. Okay. Yeah. Can you pick me the four popular ones? What was that one? Uh, creme brulee. Creme brulee, beautiful. The classic milk chocolate truffle. Milk chocolate so, truffle. Creme brulee. Yep. I would recommend also the Oh, beautiful. Yum. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Let's go. You want to talk about pricing? Listen, I have not talked to you about pricing in Switzerland. Listen to me very carefully. Those chocolates just then, all right, were 41 euros. You want Australian dollars for that? It's nearly double the price in Australian. Nearly. When you convert your money into euros, it's about 52 cents. Each dollar is a euro. So I just paid for those chocolates just then roughly 80 Australian dollars. It is so dear, it is ridiculous, ridiculous. Where are we going? Let's go over here, try this chocolate. Find a mass spot and we'll smash this chocolate. Let's see what we got, cuz. Let's see what we got, guys. They look like they're dried. They are dried strawberries, lemon, half milk, half dark chocolate. Well, cuz. Let's ump this slug. Cuz, well, brother, well. No! <laughs> what am I doing? Come over here. Come over here, bro. Bro, this is ridiculous. 
I've never had a dry strawberry before. Oh, lad. The chocolate is perfectly creamy. Mad milk chocolate. The dried strawberries, it's like an enhanced strawberry flavor. You know when something's dry, like dry banana, and it's really strong? That's how it is, the dried strawberries. It's like really strong. And then it finishes off with like the slightest zesty flavor from the lemon. Wow, cuz. Wow. Look at this thing. Oh, it's got a picture of a Swiss, Switzerland something. Let me try the dark side. It's not as nice because it's dark chocolate, but it's still hectic. It's still mad. Let's try this, bro. Grindelwald Swiss chocolate chatelet. I think this is just a milk chocolate, but like a bougie one, you know? Yeah, a bougie one. Of course it's bougie, brother. It's, there we go. Oh. Oh, no, they're little individuals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get 12 little individuals. Look. Bruh. <laughs> oh, my God. That chocolate poos on the last chocolate. But the last chocolate's mad because it's got the other things going on. But in terms of just perfect, perfect cocoa to cream sweetness ratio, well, it's so creamy. It's so creamy. It feels like animal fat. You know when you're eating crackling and it's that fat and it's creamy and you got to get the get it off the roof of your mouth it's like that cuz oh, it probably costing me eight australian dollars per bite <laughs> right that's cracker that's leading in terms of chocolate that's the better one but the other one had you know a lot going on we got these now i oh, should put little bonuses in there cuz i didn't see this you put little bonuses we'll try the bonus too but we've got the four Little gummy missiles to try. The, the walnut one, the nougat one, creme brulee, and whatever she called that. Yeah, but I'm sitting down, guys. I don't care. Don't judge me. We're looking at. <laughs> Here's the hazelnut one. Oh, but inside is creamy. Oh, lad. I didn't expect that. Yo. Bro, that was the best. Man. Oh my god, that chocolate. Wow, cuz. I don't know what this one is, but let's over cuz. It's just a random one. Yum! It's the same thing except it's chocolate. It's it's hard chocolate on the outside. And then like it's like a, it's a cream. The last one had like a hazelnut cream and this one has a chocolate cream as opposed to a milk chocolate. Yum. I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> I'm gonna get sick. This one. What you call this? The creme brulee. She called this creme brulee. Have a go at it. Oh, it's hot. Oh. <laughs> oh. Each one's full of cream, cuz. Yum. All right. Milk chocolate and white chocolate outer. I don't know what's on the top. What's that top? You know the Cap Street's gay time, the um, ice cream, and on the outside they got those bits? That's what's on top of it. Vanilla custard in the middle. Wow, cuz. And this last one is that nougat. So it's a pink nougat dipped in chocolate at the bottom. That's all right. Who compared to the other ones? Literally just like God's chocolates. Hectic, lad. Cuz, wow. But that's the Grindelwald Wall chocolates. Next stop, Lords of Brunnen. Wait till you see this place. This place is full like fairy tale. It's like Walt Disney spent a, a night there and he made the whole Disney Channel. <laughs> uh, let's ouch. Ah, look at this lad, Lords of Brunnen, welcome. Welcome to Lotto Brunnen, lad. Look what I'm under. Apparently, this town has seven waterfalls. Seven waterfalls falling into it. This is unbelievable. This town's a lot smaller than Grindelwald. Maybe like a one third the size. But wow. I feel like Grindelwald was on the other side of that hill. So we went down and came back in between these two. Oh, look. 
straight off the bat, there's a place that sells like waffles. Oh, we're doing chocolate. What are you talking about? But then again, like I don't just want to eat blocks of chocolate. Like we ate blocks of chocolate in a chocolate store. It's sweet if we get something else as long as it's got chocolate on it, right? Can't just hust it. No, no, Spain, it's just got to be a block of chocolate. I get what I want, cuz. They got Nutella. I don't know what the rest say. Berries, donuts with chocolate. We'll see, we'll see what's here. But I'm just saying, it doesn't have to just be blocks of chocolate. What are you talking about, cuz? I think I've done a full lap of the place and there isn't an actual chocolate store like there was at um, Grindelwald in Tulankan there's like 74 of them but there wasn't an actual like dedicated chocolate store here which is fine I think we'll get the waffles lad <laughs> to be honest I wanted to break it up anyway and then when we get back to Interlaken, we'll go into the mad chocolate stores the main ones and then I gotta brace my fees and I gotta go up this stupid vertical train wait till you see this thing a vertical train to the top of a mountain and at the top is this place i think there's a restaurant and that up there we'll get something chocolate up there and if there's not something chocolate up there we get a pop of feed you know what it is land its own oh here's the waffle place nutella and whipped cream donuts and milk chocolate and a coffee lungo they call it different, you know, I drink black coffees uh, or long blacks. Some places they call it Americano, here they call it Longo. One set. I'm gonna get the coffee. In this age. A Lungo, Cafe Lungo, Lungo Cafe, Americano, Long Black, however you want to say it, wherever you are. In Australia, we call it Volcano there. But anyway, let's oge. Here we got the chocolate waffles. Yep. I didn't get a knife. Judging by how soft they are, you can just break them apart, can't you? Lad? I'm a little bit excited. You know what? I've just eaten straight chocolate. I was going to be a bit upset. Now I'm a little bit excited. All right. Oh, oh. Yum. Wait, let me inspect this chocolate. Hectic. I thought because it's a little stand, they're gonna do bodgies and give you a chocolate sauce. Proper Swiss chocolate. Tastes like proper quality. Imagine the chocolate we had before melted on top of a waffle that is soft. It's so soft, look. You know some waffles, cuz look, that's a fork, look. I just hacked through it like it was butter. Plastic fork as well. Would it have been better with ice cream? Of course, cuz we're talking about cuz it's gonna lie about that, no mean no way, cuz but cream's still good. All right, last bite of the waffles. Well, I'll save that for these two, the missus and the sister. I know they're frothing it. I can see them back there, punching themselves in the face, staring at it. Chocolate donuts. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like dark chocolate. We'll see. Oh, they're crispy as. Wow. Like little pretzels. Oh, no. Look, that's a lot more of a deep fried taste. Almost like churros. They are like churros. They're not soft, spongy donuts like you're used to. They're hard, crispy churros in circles with dark chocolate, icing sugar, I don't know, cuz. That's definitely not my cup of tea, but what I gotta do is steal the creme maru from there to jump it, to soften the blow, and then that's a little bit closer to that. Well, wow. Look what, I'm underneath a waterfall pumping waffles, cuz. How many people can say that? They pump waffles under a waterfall, bro. What are you talking about? I saw W's on from Willow as well. What do you want, cuz? I'll whack you in the face. See how many W's I got? Let's woge. <laughs> Coffee's coffee all around the world, you know what I mean? Everywhere imports coffee anyway, so the coffee here is gonna be the same coffee in Woolworths down at the back of Mount Druid, isn't it? It is. Lovely cuz, lovely. I'll leave that to them to pump. I'll grab my water and let's oge, brother. Look at that. Look where I just pumped them. You thought I was lying. What is that? What a spot, cuz. 
right here in the middle of two massive mountains. Right, let's go up and let's get under this waterfall. I'm pretty sure this trail goes up underneath it. <laughs> this is hectic. All right, bro, I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared. Some of you know, I'm so scared of heights. See that? See what just happened then? Bro, what's this? Hello? Horus! Oh, look at that rock! Why am I so scared? Alright, I'm actually scared. <laughs> On this next fence, and that's high, I'm out. <laughs> I licked the water off the walls. Yeah, I licked the water off the walls and I tasted it. That's the whack. I don't know how I'm gonna do this thing later. Alright, bro, that's me. See that? Look where they're going, cuz. There's no way in the world, cuz. I don't care. YouTube, nothing, cuz. Wake up to yourself. I'm walking on a skinny cliff. That high keep going and it's all slippery. No way, brother. Bruh. I'm scared of the stairs now. No way, cars, am I doing that? Look, we'll find some water dripping here. Look, water drips. Oh, yeah, I'll find some water. Mmm. Beautiful mineral water. I'm out of here, but let's get out of here. I want to quickly walk down to this water. I can hear it the whole time. I can hear it. It's just down here. Bro, look at that! Look at that! See, but look at the color of the water. It's almost white. Oh my god! Cause where, well. lad? Cause, come on! Look where I am, bruh. <laughs> From a jail cell, lad. From 13 years in jail. Boys' homes. Who would have ever thought, eh? Hey? I wish I knew, like a 21 year old. You know, one day span, you're gonna be like grown up, you're gonna wake up to yourself, you're gonna be happy in the Swiss Alps by some mineral water. Drinking mineral water out of the, out of the floor. Oh, that is the best tasting water I've ever had in my life. Look at that. Watch my whole face in it. It's like holy water. No! Oh my god. Now you are forever a part of me. That's a cracker. Oh look at this. <laughs> There's an Ogda in it. <laughs> Lucky I drank there. <laughs> it's going down that way. I said I drank it. <laughs> then looked up there and there's an Ogda. It will chai. Well, cuz. Oh, far out. All right, lads, here in Tulakan. This is like the big, the biggest town. And my motel's just back here. Look at this bloke. Full landing. This is where they land. Gobala. Look at him. What a landing, cars. What a landing. Didn't even hit his ass, lad. Just walked it off. This place right here, in between all of the big mountains where all the snowy water comes down into two massive lakes on either side. And the lakes are separated by this little bit of land, enough to fit a town. And there's a town right in the middle, in between two lakes, into Larkin. Here, there is so many watch shops. All of, obviously all those, all the best watches, they're all Swiss, they're all made here. Everything, just watch stores. Just high-end watch stores everywhere. This town here, 
obviously not um, natural beauty compared to Grindelwald and Walter Brunnen, but in terms of like just high level stuff, like what you would expect in stores and buildings, this is this is the full pump. Wow, what is that? Look at these chocolate store cars. Wow, let's suss out everything I got. Classic chocolate, mom. Wow, let's go in here, guys. Wow, they got a full chocolate fountain, that like, look. What is that? They got a chocolate waterfall, lad. Cars, well, what is that? The smell in here. Wow, cars, that has to be. That smell of fresh, strong cocoa has to be a better smell than coffee. That is the most authentic chocolate smell I have ever smelled in my life. I think it's that. It's coming off the waterfall. What should we get? Hey, brother, can you get me like some of... You get me three pieces of the most popular of these. Yeah, your choice. And then a mix of these ones here. Hazelnut, beautiful. Milk chocolate and, and hazelnut. White chocolate with mixed nuts and candy fruits. Yum! White chocolate, and mixed nuts and candy fruit. Some dark chocolate as well. You like lemon, edible sea salt flowers or ginger? Dark chocolate and ginger. That sounds interesting. It is. Yeah, beautiful. That's all right. Yep, perfect. Well. And maybe like um, four of these. Four, oh no, six of these. Just pick yeah. six for me. All right. Yeah. Classic milk with milk chocolate. Yep, classic milk chocolate, truffle. White, we have a heart with orange flavor. Yum, heart with orange. Then we have dark chocolate with pistachio. Beautiful. Now let's change it a bit. We have a bit of caramel with milk chocolate. Yum. That's the almond with mixed chocolate. Beautiful. Something maybe interesting and quite particular yep. will be the dark chocolate and chili. You know, it has chili. A hint of Yum. Spiciness. Yum, beautiful, thank you. Oh. They're the coolest chocolate shop you've ever seen. Even matey serving it up, it was just hectic. All right, let's get, let's get down this lane. Look at the, look at the cliff in the, in the side of, in the end of this lane, bruh. All right, here near the Burberry, the Burberry store. All right, bruh. All of those chocolates were 22, Franks, which I think for all of this is a pretty good price compared to the ones up in Grindelwood. The ones in Grindelwood seem to be double the price. Anyway, bro, they got prints on them. Ooh. Oh, white chocolate with candied fruit and something else in it. Use editor will write them as I'm eating them. Look at that. Full of their signs written on them and that. Yum. Oh, lad. <laughs> Lad, white chocolate with pistachios and candy fruit. That is beautiful, lad. Perfect. What can I say about that? White chocolate and pistachio, what a mad mix. Haven't had that before. Candy fruit, hectic. He chucked a couple dark chocolates in, by the way. Milk chocolate hazelnut. Straight milk chocolate hazelnut, cuz. With their little sign on it. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow, this was the, I can't remember, dark chocolate something. Add it up, put, put it there. What is it? Oh, ginger. <laughs> what a spin out. Dark chocolate and ginger. That tastes good. That's actually nice. That's nicer than that, just dark chocolate. The ginger made it nicer. Now with these little gamisos. I'm spewing because I got six little ones, so I'm committed to pumping six. <laughs> Mixed chocolate with an almond in it, pretty standard. Yum. Oh, like a nutty cream in the middle. So mixed chocolate, white, dark, and nutty cream with a nut on top. All right. My mouth still tastes like ginger. You know, the ginger makes your mouth buzz. My mouth's buzzing. Well, 
What was this one? Oh, bro. Have you ever had a dime? Or you go to Ikea and they got the bodgy version, Dame or whatever it's called. That's the top. It's like a Dame. Well, cuz. Well, crispy toffee. Oh, cuz I'm only having one more of these. There's another four of them, cuz. Relax. Let me try this chili one. It's here. I can see it. You can see the chili spices on it. So, yeah. Pop a chili. All right. That's interesting. Dark chocolate and chili. It's actually not that uncommon. You know what? I've seen it in Woolworths. They make the dark chocolate and chili. I've never had one. Proper chili, a little bit spicy on the tongue, burning the back of my throat. That's a that's a decent combination. Is it better than milk chocolate and hazelnut? No way, cuz. Who's gonna lie about that? No me, no way, cuz. Born, lad. Let's urge, bar. Let's have a look around this place, lad. I'm so chocolate in here. I can't believe we're trying to go up this place, bro. I can't believe. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know, cuz. I don't know, brother. We'll see. But you know, when I get there, listen, if I go there, I don't want to eat chocolate, bro. Can we eat something else? I'll have a hot chocolate on the side, all right? I'll get another feed up there and I'll have a hot chocolate on the side. That's the deal. So it's still chocolate in the Swiss Alps, right? I'll have a little loiter through this town. And I need a tap. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Wash my hands, guys. All right, I'm back. Where's the chocolate snack? <laughs> oh, got this little bitty. I'm launching this. I'm not even taking her home, cuz. Even there, back in the motel, they're chocolated out as well. I think my favorite ones were this white chocolate here. Is that a bit? And the chalk hazelnut. They were gone. And that little one that had like the, the dime. Oh, wow, another chocolate store. Oh, they're just everywhere. Oh, they're everywhere, cuz. I used to have the maddest Britney. You know what, bro? Let's go suss out these Britney's, bro. Oh, look at that. Oh, bro, that one there, man. Look at that, mate. That's legit. That's, that's, our, in my opinion, that's their fun point. You know what, guys? I'm gonna buy that, though. Excuse me. Yes. Can, can, can I get. Can I see that watch? That uh, never the never timer there, please. I want that watch. Can I try that on, please? Oh, beautiful! Fits perfect. I'll get this. I'll get that. Thank you. That easy, bro. That's always been my favorite watch, guys. Beautiful. Wow. Uh, beautiful. And I heard I'll get a free hat too. Yes. Oh, thank you. I'll wear this hat when I go. Thank you very much. You. See you later. Bye. Let's go, lad. Look at that. Wait there. Look at that, lad. Wait. Let me put my free hat on. That cost me seven, eighteen thousand dollars whatever. That just cost me. Let's go. Doesn't fit, but who cares? Like the watch fits. That's all that matters. Let's car. Hey, look at the bougie box, bro. How mad is that, cuz? I bought it years ago. Exact watch, exact color. Years ago, with illegal money, it meant nothing to me. Here I am, brother. 2023 in the Swiss Alps. Britley never time, my Let's car, lad. Feels so much better. I tell you that, lad. Say, bro. You do anything. There's nothing you can do as a criminal. There's nothing you can do as a criminal that you can't do legally. And 10 times better legally. 10 times better. It actually means something. You actually value it. 
You don't gotta worry about the cops taking it. You know what I mean? It's old, bar. <laughs> One more place below. My enemy, right up there. Hope I can do this, mate. No! Oh, bruh, look at this thing. Look, see the tracks? Look at that, lad. Bruh, it's, 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 it's legit like the start of a roller coaster, except it goes as high as a mountain. We swam there last night in that massive lake. Well, cuz, imagine swimming and drinking at the same time. <laughs> this is the lineup to get there. Hopefully, like the line looks big, but. It just goes in train loads, so hopefully it's only like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. By the way, exit in um, Swiss is this. Osgang. Yeah, Osgang gang. Bruh, bruh. Come in here, in here, in here. Come. Bro, it's wobbly. <laughs> wow. Bro, what side are we getting now? This side? Huh? What do we got? I couldn't record the walk up here. I like halfway crawled. I, I can look over the edge now, okay? Look, I swear. We're at the restaurant. The restaurant's behind me. So I'm going to walk confidently to this restaurant, all right? Look at me cars, the watch gave me new powers, lad. We're talking about cars, that's nothing. That's old, bro. Look at that. Cause we're not eating chocolate, we're eating real foods. Look, my family's here waiting for me, cuz we're talking about that's old. Oh. Alright, let's see what they got. Harakum. Appetizers. Meat and fish. Grilled steak served with herb butter, French fried potatoes. You get a steak, eh? Grilled steak. If they got something chocolate dessert, we'll chuck it in. It's chocolate in the Alps, guys, but I do what I want. Welcome to Spain, mate. Look that. How man's out there playing the horn out there? Pizzas. You know what? It's not that much dearer than the rest of Interlaken. What the pizzas are there? Margarita, funky salami. Salami pizza, eh? That's what we're getting. Steak and salami pizza. Let's hold it. She gave us a new seat. Near the window, open the window up. The sun is setting. What are you talking about, cars? I got a little update. We looked at the window, and you know, a popular thing here in uh, Switzerland is people eating um, like cheese fondues. It's like a big thing. They dip bread into cheese fondue. And anyway, I've seen it on the menu. Eager North Face Cheese Fondue. So it's like cheese fondue with onions and garlic served with bread, Swiss potato. We gotta get it. It's, it's, it's another thing. Cheese fondue and chocolate. That's what's known in Switzerland. So it's very good we can finish off with it. So I added it to the order and hopefully it's coming. So it's it's cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the fondue lad. What's this? Oh, that's potatoes in a bag. How random is that? Oh, it's for that. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see how the cheesy fondue goes down. This is for the bolognese, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, my friend. 
pizza. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Let's go. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man. It tastes, yeah, it's like a spicy, you know cheese that are like spicy meatballs? It's like that, like a potent cheese, but it's nice. Gum, hectic, guy. Eh? You know what it sort of tastes like? Vegemite. Vegemite, what the heck? I was about to say that. It's like Vegemite to toast. Oh. Pizza, less oge. Give me some of this. Mate, you didn't slice it properly, taking two pieces. You know, you know. Yum. You know what I'm about to do, right? You know what I'm about to do. Of course I'm dipping that in the cheese. What's wrong with you? Well, cuz. That's a fondue for two slices of pizza. You hear that? Fondue for two slices. Guten Tag. Your lady, lady, lady. That's Oge. I have my version of Yodeling. Yum. Look at that steak. Let's be honest, those veggies, these veggies look like they come out of the McCain's fridge. I'm not gonna lie about that, it's gonna lie about that. I mean, no way, cuz, but they're full bodge, but the chips are getting fondued. Let me try the steak. There's a little cheesy ball on top. Let's see how it goes. The steak is tiny. It costs one million dollars. It's cooked nice and medium. That's that's nice. That's a nice piece of sirloin steak. It's a bit cool. Could be a bit warmer. Came out almost cold. What a line. Damn. What is this cheese anyway? What is that? That's not cheese. That's like sour cream and chives. No. That's piece the resistance, like. You are piece the resistance. What a feed. What a feed. Can you for two? Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Fondue for three, yes please, don't mind if it's me. Fondue for four, yes please, don't mind me some more. Cheesy fondue everything, that's the rules guys. I didn't make them. But I'm coming out to conquer my fears, you know that right? Look at me walking around like a Rambo. Look at that. Look at that thing. I walk out over the edge. Far out loud, look at these. Standing on it, cuz like I'm not out there, you know, but it's a bit busy out there. Look, bro, look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, lad. Look at me. Oh, let's see, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> but still, look. Tell me that's not crack a roo, lad. Listen, it's not over. I woke up this morning and my wife had the best idea. You know those three mountains I told you? You know the tallest one, Jungfrau? There's tickets to go to the top of them. To the top. And it's scary on the way, so 
here we are. We've come back to Grindelwald. And the first thing we do, we're in the terminal for the airlifts, the, the, the carts. Here they are. And so what happens is these go to the top of some smaller mountain. And then there's a train ride that goes up, up, up the bigger mountain until you're right up in the snow. I'm pooing myself, but after yesterday, I might be sweet, you know? Why we're going up there is it's the world's highest chocolate store. All right, let's go, I'm scared. No, stop. Oh my God, bruh. Oh, lad. Stop. What are you laughing at? Look at these two. They just recorded me. How does someone that's scared of heights all of a sudden get verbaled into going to one of the highest points in the world? Let's go. Ah, look how high it is. We're almost at the terminal now, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're here nice and safe. Look how confident I am. Let's go, bro. I'm surfing, bro. We're talking about cars. <laughs> what was I doing? Yeah, it was like crying. What? Oh my god. Oh, what the? F <laughs> what was that? Look at me off this thing. We're catching the train down, I swear. Oh, it's gang. Gang, gang. Bruh, how much colder is it up here? We're like probably not even 20% of the way up. It's freezing. Oh, bruh, we're up in near this snow already. The train's here in 20 minutes. I got a coffee. Got myself a cute little hat. I'm feeling very Schwitzer. Ah, wow. Look at that. Look behind me. There's a five minute star at a place called Iceman. Oh. Bro, bro. What is that, cars? Look at this, lad. Full glacier stuff, lad. Full glacier stuff. Back to the train. We've only got a couple minutes. Chocolate, yeah, June flower joke. But I can smell chocolate. Do you smell chocolate? I can smell chocolate, I swear. Wow. Show parts that they saw watches everywhere, eh? Already got a good one. Sorry. Oh my god. Bruh. Wait, why is it warm? Hey, it gets warmer out here than inside. What are you talking about, guys? I'm about to take my jumper off, play some volleyball. What are you talking about, that? Wow, cars. Bro, we're higher than the clouds, cars. We're higher than the clouds. Bro, this is crazy, cars. Wow. There's an ice tunnel up here. No way, it's freezing now. Full ice, that's ice. It's not slippery. As if it's not slippery, I've just seen you slide. <laughs> <laughs> Your pirouette is part of the show. Please. Nah, joking. Finally out in the snow. Whoa, it's so bright. Whoa. It's hard to breathe, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, look at these signs. This is why I'm scared. Brother, stay behind the ropes. You fall to the depths of hell, cars. See? You fall down into the middle of the earth. Look at that glacier hanging on the edge. That's where we just were up there. Wow, cuz. Top of Europe, lad. So. Let's see it, cuz. All snow's in my shoes. Ladies, top of Europe. Let's go find his chocolate. This way? Don't mind if I do. Bruh. So he's got the ultimate chocolate tour at the end. That's huge. Revolutionary grinding machine. Turn to start. 
Carl Ladstar. Tell me this ain't the ultimate chocolate tour of the Swiss Alps. Look, I know we've chucked other things in there, but still, well. These look hectic. Nougat and almonds. Ooh. Beautiful plain milk chocolate. Oh, fig. Wow. Premium range. Swiss premium chocolate. White chocolate and almonds. Let's cut. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, Alright, Swiss premium chocolate, white almond. I think I'm most treat for that one, I'm not gonna lie, cuz. Milk extra, milk chocolate, standard. Then a fig norm, norm I think means dark, so fig essence dark chocolate, so we've got something for this in there. Then a milk chocolate with nougat and almonds. Yum, but let's cut, we'll start on the milk chocolate, right? Because it's the standard. Oh bro, what are you talking about? Oh, I didn't even open the milk chocolate one. You know I said I was gonna open the standard milk chocolate one? I didn't, I looked on the bottom, I'm thinking, what are these? I opened the one with nougat and almonds. But anyway, so that's the way it is, cuz. Whatever happens is supposed to be, cuz. You know what I mean? Oh! The milk is crispy. Like crunches, can you hear it? Gun milk chocolate. Roasted almonds goes perfect with milk chocolate, standard. But the nougat, I thought it was gonna be like soft. It's crunchy, it's like little bits of toffee. Oh. Hefty. That's beautiful. Definitely good. Yum. Now we'll start on the, what was supposed to be first. Look how it's printed. Oh. <laughs> that is next level. All right, so I thought the last one has the just as good milk chocolate, but with extras in it. It doesn't. I promise you this milk chocolate is extra. Did you say extra creamy? It does. Extra creamy. The more cream, the better, cuz. What are you talking about? The cremation has to be like through the roof. Wow. That's winning by so far. I reckon we go for the dark chocolate with the fig. I love figs, but I don't like dark chocolate. So we'll see how it goes. We'll go for this one, because then we finish off with. This is a big block. Look at the size of that. Anyway. Ugh. It's so dark, it smells like poo, lad. You can sort of get a fruity flavor, like you're searching for it. It's sort of there and you're thinking like, oh, that's it, is that fig or is it? It's not a fig flavor. You can only describe it as a fruity flavor, like just a generic fruity flavor. If you're on some type of diet or you're keto and you can only pump dark chocolate, then probably you need it with hints of fruit to make your life a little bit better, don't ya? But for me, that's rubbish. I don't like that chocolate whatsoever, cuz. Opposite end of the spectrum, white chocolate. White chocolate's the best, cuz. White with almonds. Oh, look at that. That looks mad, cuz. See the almonds all through it? Well. That's hectic. There's so many almonds in there, look. Every bite has almond. I always love white chocolate since the Milky Bar kid, lad. Remember Milky Bars? Wow. All right, that's mine. Best chocolate, without a doubt. This one. Extra creamy lint. Go out of today's chocolates. Them chocolates yesterday were gone too. Especially with the waterfall, matey. Out of today's chocolates, this lint extra creamy water chocolate. It's like butter in your mouth, lad. Now I'm stuck before this chocolate, lad. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have dinner, I'm not even gonna lie. You think I'm gonna carry this around for the next three hours? It's going in the bin. Anyway, what a view to leave you with, eh? Let's see, cuz. That's the chocolate on top of the world, lad. Doing chocolate reviews on the top of Mount Gustin Tarkin, lad. Less hoes, laters. 